Welcome back to Crufts 2024 as we approach the first evening of this fantastic canine festival. Jim Rosenthal here alongside uh, Graham Partridge and we are waiting the climax of the agility competition on this opening Thursday. The Agility Championship final, all set for the final of the Small and Medium Agility Championship. We've seen the jumping and the agility. Those results crunch together for the final shake-up. Any eliminated dog cannot take part, and they will be going in reverse order of where they finished. Our judge is uh, Martin Cavill, judging for the last 18 years. He also competes with a Border Collie in Grade 7. That's the top grade, and three puppies coming through as well a very experienced so and sensitive balls. judge is is martin and we are then going on to the medium and we go first of all with first of 10 small dogs we'll get to graham partridge view on the course in just a moment after we've seen the opening round here charlotte louise yearman really promising combination this from uh, Kinross near Perth, Hayes, six-year-old working Cocker Spaniel. Soulmate, really started uh, Charlotte's love for the brand, uh, did Hayes. And we're all set to go, and they do go in reverse order. And off, off we go. Competition is under through the Skoda jump right in front of us. Through the... Weaves too. Excellent, excellent pace. All good thus far oh, over the A frame. Good contact at the bottom. Over the U move jump. Back through the tunnel. Heading back towards our common tradition. Bit of hesitation there. Lost precious seconds, but it's still quick and it's still clean. Seesaw is good. Over the U move as well. And the IAMS jump and the tunnel at the end of it. Oh dear. Oh dear. And it's a crossed arms. We have seen one or two of those, haven't we, Graham? this opening day we have but uh, charlotte's done tremendously well to get here today. she's come on in leaps and bounds with this dog in the last 12 months she will just be over the moon to have actually made the green carpet and sh hopefully she'll learn a lot from it lovely look at this love these working cocker spaniels next to go uh, liz naylor from wixall in shropshire and sky four-year-old working cocker spaniel also a working Gun dog as well. Gun dog day is tomorrow here at Crafts. Very popular day indeed. And uh, didn't fancy completing the weaves, and that will cost time and faults as well. Almost uh, too quick for her own good at the moment, the sky, but speed the essence of the game as well. Has to stop at the end of the seesaw and make sure there is contact from there. Tight finishing turn and up and down over the dog frame and 34.4. And just a tiny little blemish there, Graham. Yes, uh, they have to complete the weaves uh, that came out, so they get five faults for that. And if they don't want to be eliminated, they've got to go back and complete them from the start. Okay, next to go is Jelly and, and Dylan Osborne from Stonehaven, just south of Aberdeen. Talk us through this one, talk us through what they have to compete with in this competition. Well, first of all, Dylan is the uh, current under-19 world junior champion. Achieved that title this uh, year, or last year, 2023. So just talking you through the course. Fairly straightforward start, jump, jump, long jump, into the weaves. They must complete them correctly before they move away. He does that, leading the dog away, making sure there's no breakdown in communication. Sharp left-hand turn now, back into the tunnel. This is change his side, you see him change sides then. Now the seesaw must touch the ground before the dog gets off it. Very nicely done. Now across the arena, this is the fast bit of the course. He needs to be there in the end to push around that jump there for the entry onto the dog walk. This is looking really good. Come on, Dylan. Whoa, 31, 6, 7, 3. What a great start. That's really going to set the cat among the pigeons. Fantastic work from Dylan Osborne. Current world under-19 champions, these two, and that's a championship performance we've just seen. Katrina Hands and Sizzle from Forfar in Scotland, Shetland Sheepdog, Team GB representative, fabulous.
to live to live with this dog third in the agility earlier and that's an early five faults that will infuriate her through the tunnel hopping over keen for more hungry for more this sizzle over the you move and the I am's and through that tunnel at the far side of the course we see that's an interesting way to go over that <laughs> but complete the course great entertainment 38 points and just those five faults Graham so she stays on five faults there and I think she just assumed that the dog was coming on her left hand side uh, she was concentrating on getting into the weaves but and just wrecked <laughs> that one there well done green carpet uh, register the penultimate small dog sin up now there are a couple more smalls to go first time competing at cross very clever very agile dog very kind as well always tries her best does sinner frame good contact At the bottom through the tunnel an absolute flash this is shaping up nicely too. The U move and the I am successfully and speedily negotiated through the tunnel at the far side too. Call round very quickly. This is could threaten the best. This over the dog walk. It'll be close, but no, no cigar. 32.8 and second place. A fine effort that one from Joe and Sinner. Great run. Bearing in mind this dog is only two years of age, um, and you can't start competing until the dog's 18 months of age. She's done fantastically well. This could be a combination to watch uh, Selfie and Martin Reed uh, from Warwickshire, a fantastic partnership. First in the jumping earlier on, winners of the championship at Crofts last year, the European Open individual as well last year, the small agility last year. These are class and big, big contenders for the main prize here. That's a fantastic first 14 or 15 seconds too. Really quick. Not a flicker of hesitation, all going according to plan. Excellent over the seesaw. The tunnel, in and out in the blink of an eye. Right up with the clock too. Need a big finish, could be inside it. Need a really big finish. 30.8, they are inside it. And top of the pile, Graham. A round appreciated by the judge, Martikaville there. This pair have been on fire for the last 12 months. Internationally and nationally, uh, they are going to take some beating. Great, great round. John Clayton and Elsie from West Houses in Derbyshire, five years of age, a pass of Russell oh. Terrier. And sadly, an early fault and an early elimination. Martin Cavill reluctantly crossing his arms as he had to there though Graham he did this dog's been a favorite with the crowd all day Jim um, just gives it all it's just some just the character of a terrier uh, just took the wrong course there but as I say he's here he's qualified over hundreds of other dogs in the country so he's gonna make the most of it and hopefully he's gonna carry on and, and finish this round off really nicely really important to finish off on a positive note for the dog so he'll carry on to the end absolute whirlwind of a dog um, world a little too fast and slightly inaccurate but um, as we say Elsie very very popular dog here and we will see Elsie and John again I am sure of that yeah we are just taking the wrong jump picking up the dreaded crossed arms for elimination Sully you're looking at 11 years of age handler Ashley Butler who will be joining us in the commentary box up here over the weekend runner up last year third in the jumping earlier on very experienced campaigner is Ashley and they will want to provide something extra special here and sadly sadly at the end of the weaves it unravels very very quickly have to go back and complete them of course but that is a chances of victory i would think um pretty much finished but again you carry on and you complete the course as well over the seesaw this 
going to be uh, Sonny's uh, last Crofts, retiring at the age of 11. Fantastically popular, beautiful looking dog as well, and actually a really popular competitor too. In the top six, that's things stand, but that won't last, Graham. It is, and then just it skipped a pole, and that was the issue there. So halfway through the weaves, it missed one, so she had to take it back and do it again or be eliminated. This is Robin, seven-year-old, a working cocker, second in the agility earlier, handler Karen Boardman. All set to go over that first U-move jump and head very quickly for the Skoda. There we go, we're off and running. What about this time through the week? That's the way to do it! Absolutely brilliant. And looking really good at this stage. Nothing's been quicker under the first ten seconds or so. Terrific work this from Robin and from Karen. Oh dear, dear, dear. Would you believe it? Just when it was all looking so good, there's another disqualification, but of course they will complete the round. I tell you what, that infuriates me up here. Goodness knows what it does down there, Graham. <laughs> Especially since you, got, you were just saying how well the dog oh, was going to work. Fantastic, wasn't it? Just unfortunately, you've got to pull the dog towards you slightly to get over the jump uh, afterwards in the right direction, and she pulled it too much. There we go, great shame. Keep a close eye on this one. Louise Godwin from Gloucester and Drift, five-year-old Collie Cross, second in the jumping earlier on, winner of the agility, the last dog to go in the smalls. 30.8 the time to beat, and of course with a clear round as well. Louise and Drift. Come on, come on, I want to go, I want to go, and off she goes as well. Over the, the U move, over the Skoda. It's the end of that. Oh my goodness me. My goodness me, second in the jumping, first in the agility, massive build-up, it's all there, and within the first 10 seconds, the crossed arms appear, Graham. Yeah, anything can happen. I think it, it's one of those situations where the, the, it, it, it's an, an innocuous issue there. The release, she didn't yeah. think the dog was going to take that jump, she thought it would come with a... But you can see how keen this dog and how well it's done. Oh, it's, a be it's a beautiful, very, very quick combination. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, the dog gets congratulated as well. Absolutely right. We had really high hopes. A lot of people thought this one would go all the way, but it just didn't happen on the day. And that is agility for you in a nutshell. Martin Reed gets it with selfie. Terrific, 30.8, the only one inside the 31s. Dylan Osborne and Joe Gleed round out the top three. Small competition decided. We have four heights, the small, medium, intermediate and large. And we have the champ for the intermediate and large on Sunday. So if you're here on Sunday, please do... On we go to the medium dogs then. There are going to be eight medium dogs. And uh, the first... To go, there we are, is Maggie, Liz Carpenter, the handler, four-year-old Collie Cross, second in the jumping earlier today, third time competing at Cross, agility champion, five championship tickets, one of which is the Canon Club International Agility Festival. We're looking at Maggie from Pusey in Wiltshire and Liz Carpenter. Those weaves no problem at all for Maggie, the four-year-old. Very good over the A-frame as well. Oh, dear, you're not supposed to go back there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Quite unusual, because normally a dog would choose the tunnel. Yes. Um, but obviously she likes the A-frame, so uh, yes. not, nothing wrong with that. But such a shame, because she was the brakes were off and she was, she was actually going for it, which probably contributed towards the wrong course there. But whatever happens, you can't take it away from uh, from this pairing that they've had a fantastic year, in fact, a fantastic couple of years, really, yeah. um, culminating with an appearance on the green carpet. Yeah, well. and, a, and a decent opening day uh, as well, Graham. Elimination, though, uh, for Liz Carpenter and uh, for Maggie. Uh, not the first elimination that we have seen here on day one of Cross 2024. You'll be very familiar with that side. <clears throat> I think she probably just needed a right arm out there just to keep the dog away from her and away from the A-frame, but uh, that's pressure for you. Okay, so Liz Dakin next to go. 
from uh, Kirkby Moorside in North Yorkshire Scout. Seven-year-old Shetland Sheepdog loves to be the centre of attention, this one. And uh, yet, to, of course, to set a time in the medium championship. Second dog to go in the mediums, Lily Dakin and Scout. Over the U move and over the Skoda as well. The, the round is off and running. Not the quickest we've seen through the weaves, but it's okay. It's accurate and sharp. Good contact with the bottom of the A frame. Sharp turn over the U move. Back through the tunnel. That's good. Nearly 20 seconds gone. It's quick and it's faultless. Lovely style over the seesaw. Great sound as it enters the tunnel as well. This could set the stand for the rest of it. Up and down over the dog walk. Brilliant finish. Great finish. 32.7 for Lily and for Scout. Brilliant. Really great time there. No time wasted on that A-frame again. Just a couple of strides coming down it. Nice tight turns is what you want, and that's going to set the bar uh, for the rest of them to follow, Jim. Tony Dawkins uh, from Lincoln leading out seven-year-old uh, Tiger. Last year's winners. They also won the agility stakes last year. Miniature American Shepherd. Think full of life, it's fair to say. Full of beans. <laughs> a bit of a handful. A bit of a handful there for Tony. Um, Tiger by name, Tiger by nature, and will we see a, a snarl and a flourish at the end of very very quick start and too quick wrong course yeah you've got the impression and even even to my eye that um tiger was very very hyped up and excited there um, that's probably the last thing you want really graham isn't it it, it, it is, but that's what wins you competitions, having a dog that's ready to go, uh, e keen and eager, you know, then it's down to you to train it and to sure. and to try and modify or keep in check that, that, that type of behaviour. But no taking away from it, she's won the agility stakes last year at the London International Horse Show. Had a fantastic year, she won it last year, she's here this year, what more can you say? Yep, another elimination, sadly, so there's only one time recorded so far of that Lily Dakin, 32.7. Sadly, Tony eliminated. Here comes uh, Harriet Hardy from Cheltenham, nine-year-old Izzy, working sheepdog. Well, Izzy, we're told, loves the atmosphere and looks very, very happy to be here. I'm very keen to impress. I'm just reminding you, 32.7 and clear is the time for Harriet and Izzy to be. And over we go. And there's an early bit of confusion as well. There's uh, five faults picked up, unfortunately. Very early in the round again to be picking up faults. Just about made contact with the, the white marker at the bottom of the A-frame. Good through the tunnel. Heading towards us in that sharp right turn. That's excellent over the seesaw. It's a good time, just the five faults over the IMs too. Lovely sound going through the tunnel. We're going to need a big finish here over the dog walk. It's going to be pretty quick. Just the five faults, 34.5 and second place. Yeah, ten faults there. Some really unex unexplained uh, faults here. I mean, what looks like a fairly, you know, straightforward entry into the weaves. And the dog curls round to the right, but... Um, who knows? The dog does. And then onto the dog walk. Let's just see. Judge is in the best position. And he said she didn't make Spot it. Spot on. She didn't. Next go. Liz Looking at uh, Winnie. A second dog in the final for Liz Carpenter from Pusey, a little village in, in Wiltshire. Third time competing at Crofts. Dog of a lifetime, this one looking for a performance of a lifetime as the agility comes to a climax on the first Thursday of Crofts 2024. Good style through the weaves. That's a good contact at the bottom of the A-frame. Our judge Martin very closely watching there, but sadly, there again, there again, another elimination. Carry on completing the round. 
Graham, with a slightly resigned look on your face, I would have to say that uh, at, uh, as you as you you say, oh, Jim is going to say, how do you explain no, no, that? No, no, right? I was just I was just really sympathising with Liz here. Uh, they've had a fantastic year. Yeah. Um, and just unable to pull it out on the day with either of her dogs. But yeah. she can take the comfort. She's got two dogs here. Hundreds of other people did it. Absolutely. Um, and I've no doubt that we were, are going to see Liz again. The dog's full of enthusiasm. Look at that. Just wants to go. Just really early take off there though and the wrong jump unfortunately Sammy Pegg from uh, South Sammy Norfolk Peg Dis with Bliss Bliss from Dis seven-year-old Border Collie last time they ran here in the Novices Cup four years ago fourth in the jumping earlier today do not discount these two Sammy Pegg uh, and Bliss over the U move, over the Skoda. Let's hope for great things from the representative of this in South Norfolk. Good first 10 seconds. Really working hard there, it's Sammy to keep. Um, five faults picked up there, and there'll be more, more coming, unfortunately. 10 faults and the the time ticking and Sammy and Bliss will com complete the round but uh, and, and over we go that dog walk good contact at the end 40.3 for Sammy Pegg and Bliss yep unfortunately the dog is quite rightly said looking at the weaves there was drawn away from the jump and then had the run pass as the clench fist indicating uh, a refusal and three refusals anywhere on the course uh, equals an elimination this is a really good looking dog the penultimate dog it's stephanie best the handler a skedaddle four-year-old shetland sheepdog really handsome animal this one from ringwood in hampshire Almost holding my breath, the dog's going through the weaves, but that is really good from Skedaddle. Really good. A-frame, lovely contact at the end of that. Good tight turn as well. Losing nothing at all on that particular manoeuvre. This is good from uh, Stephanie and Skedaddle. 20 seconds gone, no faults. Time is good. Round is clear. Over the iron. Look at that through the tunnel. Look at the pace through the tunnel there. Let's get a big finish over the dog walk, and they'll be top of the pile here. Big, big finish. Big finish. 31.3. Fantastic for Stephanie and for four-year-old Skedaddle. Absolutely brilliant. I can't be more pleased for Stephanie and this dog. They just, month on month, the last 12 months, they've just continued to get better, build their confidence. They've done fantastically well at the international events as well, winning some medals. So this is the culmination probably of the, of the agility year. Absolutely fantastic. This is the last dog. Dalton Meredith and Munchie, eight-year-old Border Collie, runners-up last year, first in the jumping, third in the agility, the time to beat 31.6 and clear. And the clock is ticking and Munchie is running, looking to chew up the course and looking, looking to take it with the last run of the event. The time is still pretty good, it's still clear. Seesaw is good as well. Over the Yumu, very tightly taken. This is great stuff. This is going to be very, very close to it. This could be the winning one. Over the dog walk it goes. It's going to do it. He will do it. 30.1. And he's done it by a clear second as well. Dalton Meredith and Munchie. Sensational performance. Just sensational. He did. He's had a great day today with this dog. He's finished uh, well up in both of the qualifying events, came in here uh, as last dog to go. He was the favourite and, and almost a faultless performance. He made it look tremendously easy. Many, many congratulations to Meredith. Uh, and what a great, great competition, Jim. And to present our champions and reserves, please welcome Vice Chairman of Crofts, Nick Brooks Ward, and co founder of You Move, John Howie.
Okay, the Crufts Small Agility Champion 2024 with Agility Champion Get It With Eager To Work, Martin Reed. And taking the reserve tickets with Devon Gem, well jelly baby, Dylan Osborne. And now, the Crufts Medium Agility Champion 2024 with Agility Champion Fan Dabby Dozy Munchikin Drive, Dalton Meredith! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> and taking the medium reserve ticket with Zenatomic Spiced Cory Fedge, Stephanie Best. Thank you. Thank you. Please put your hands together.